another idea that's actually to have the questions every week answered on this set channel what we will do we will take your questions and we will answer them like you guys can contact me on linkedin you guys can comment on videos that we are posting already so it's going to be something that's going to be very interesting if in the case you are interested to know about mm -hmm. control system then fine we are having amazing opportunity here we are starting up a show that's going to be automation show like you're going to talk here on different topic we will invite different guests from different regions we are going to talk about some industrial topics that are really important for you so today's question that i actually received from one of the guy from linkedin he asked about how what is the difference between plc dcs and scara mm -hmm. so i am here i am actually to talk on that first and then we will entertain your questions and if you have any question we will talk on that so this show is going to be very very much on every week and we are set to answer your question so yeah uh yeah i will answer or each and every comment later on so just starting up the session with the question that's been asked on linkedin that what is the difference between plc dcs and scara right so this is the question that's really important when you talk about interviews most of the time you face these questions if you are talking about automation interviews so look this is very simple plc is just like a computer right so PLC have certain process to control like for example you are controlling packing industry for example you are controlling some machinery if you are you are controlling some specific process but if this process is you can say the number of the ios are limited then you can go for the PLC so PLC's main job is it's just like a computer that controls different processes but uh, when it comes to the plc plc is having hmis to visualize whatever information like plc is a controller right you cannot see all the signals coming out like what is the pressure what is the temperature what is the level so if in the case you want to see that all signals what you will do you will need to have an hmi hmi is home and machine interface the the screens where you can get the display of the data coming from the feed right these are hmis so keep it simple so hmis are actually giving you a visualization about that so plc linked together with hmi and at the feed level we have instruments that you know share the data or share the signals with the plc and then plc if in the case we want to visualize the information we need to have an hmi fine home and machine interface as name indicate it's interface between machine and home and right so you can visualize all information on home and machine interface or we call it hmi then a level up if you talk about a level up more than that then there comes a dcs actually dcs is designed for large number of ios if in the case we talk about oil and gas refineries petrochemical industries fertilizer industry where we have a large number of ios to actually like control and that process is huge right if you talk about oil and gas petrochemical fertilizer industry that process is huge process you cannot rely only on the plc there because PLC again I uh, don't forget is the centralized control system where you have all operation controlled by one particular PLC if that PLC fail ladies and gentlemen whole process whole process plant is going to be shut down so whereas if you talk about the DCS in DCS we have something really special that's we have distributed control system where we have multiple controllers sitting on different areas to control the job right so that's the beauty of the dcs like you are not relying on one controller even in one area you have two controller one main one redundant if main controller fail redundant will take care of about the job if both failed at least that area is going to be affected is not going to affect all other areas right in the dcs so in dcs you have a complete system like DCS if you talk about DCS it have its own screen it have its own network it have its own hmis it have its own you can say like uh, 
operator screens and also engineering station each and everything it's dcs is a you you can say it's a complete package so you just put in there and you can control all the plant but whereas in the plc you need to have a kind of like hmis to visualize information if you are looking for information to realize, then you need to have an HMI in PLC. And as name indicate, DCS is distributed. So if in the case main controller fail, it is not gonna take over by the secondary controller. If both fail, at that particular area is gonna be shut down. It will not shut down the whole process of the plant. Is that clear? So that's all about the DCS. Okay. In DCS, I explain each and everything. If you talk about large number of analog IOs, go for DCS. If you have a big process plant, you cannot rely on the PLC itself only because PLC is for small processes. Small, uh, you can say, for example, if you want to control machinery, if you want to control some packing industry, go ahead, use that PLC. You can control one area with the PLC, fine. You can use the PLC as a part of the DCS for sure. Answer is yes. But now comes the picture of SCADA. What is the SCADA actually? SCADA is something if in the case you want to get the information in central location that's geographically dispersed, not on the same plant. If you want to get the information, for example, if you have a rig that's you know in the sea, for example. You have oil and gas uh, processing environment there. You want to get the data from there, you cannot realize like using a DCS there only because you are sending the information on remote. So when you have to send the information remotely or you have to visualize information remotely, you are actually here needed to have a SCADA system. So understanding the concept is really important. Don't go for right, you know, like reading the stuff and just realization of different you know differences actually try to understand try to try to understand based on our requirement what we are actually gonna go gonna do right so here's a trick so if in the case you have multiple plants you want to see information coming on one centralized location where you have a you know all the signal you can utilize to see that like plant a b c all are coming up in there in central you know control room so here we are actually using SCADA to do that SCADA is a complete system we have a complete tr training posted up on that how actually each and uh, every component of the SCADA works if you haven't watched that go to the SCADA training series and watch all videos there because it's really really very important to understand the SCADA so that's the whole picture between PLC, DCS, and SCADA, right? So if you have any questions now, you can ask the questions. If you are not still clear, any doubt you have, please. This show is for you guys. If you have any question, you can ask. So Automation Tech Show, the idea of Automation Tech Show is rather than watching the television dramas and serials and movies, why not to have some you know discussion that's fruitful right so this idea is going to bring some change later on we will have more and more improvement coming up we will invite different guests from different industries different industrial experts to kind of talk on different topics but your participation matters a lot your participation is going to set the tune of this whole show so yeah hope you're enjoying the series of IT and Automation Academy on PLC and if you haven't watched the whole series of SCADA what are you waiting for man go ahead and watch that and yeah we will try to contribute as much as I can so if you have any question your brother is here to answer your questions don't feel hesitated reach me out on LinkedIn uh, you can say just search in there engineer Muhammad Noman your brother will be there and you can directly ask the questions and I will try to come online on this particular show, Automation Tech Show, to answer mm -hmm. your each and every question. Yeah, this question is 
for sure like we have one minute we got one question this question has been asked many times in interview yeah this is very 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 important question people are normally asking right what is the difference between plc and hmi what is the difference between scada and dcs what is the difference between hmi and scada these questions are really important to understand when it comes to in interviews so yeah we will talk about each and everything if you have any other question yeah i'm here to answer your questions and i will make one complete video on that to highlight a detail uh differences between plc dcs hmi and scada so for that you have to stay connected and be happy and just share this opportunity with your friends so that they can also learn the culture of actually hiding the information i'm here to stop that nonsense going on across the globe like people who know something they are not trying to be not willing to share as you know like i'm a trainer i get paid for you know giving uh, providing these training even less than that but yeah it doesn't mean like if in the case i'm just getting rewarded for money and then i will go for doing something here in this platform i will contribute as much as i can by providing you trainings every week and you will actually excel slowly gradually you will get to your like you have everybody have dreams right if you have dreams you will reach to your dreams all you have to do is stay connected and keep me motivated also like your comments are really important show your comments like whatever for example uh, if you have any single question coming up after watching any video from IT and automation academy don't hes- hesitate to put the comments there because comments are very important for, like then i can get to know like what is your what you are getting from this actually training so then i can have a better idea right so comments are very important from now on i want to know if you can polish a video about connecting scada or hmi system to internet yeah i have one uh, video already web scada and that's actually shows you how you connect uh, your scada system to internet so you can watch that web scada if you see in uh, training series on scada you can watch that video web scada that's already there so if you still need any information your brother is here write me on the comment on that particular video or you are confused in some topic i'm here i will answer so in the meantime you can go to the training series scada training series and then you can watch there about what is the name of that topic is scada web server it's been i think more than a year that we have published that video so any other question uh, yes let me see that it was uh, mohammed abdul razak thanks brother this question has been asked many in time that's fine uh, sayed adnan ali you are doing great job brother thank you very much then taj din is there how are you brother i am very much fine alhamdulillah i am doing great with the help, with the help of your prayers keep smiling and if you have any other question you can ask your question here and yeah this show is gonna set another tune another level for you to learn the skills i would recommend bet- better than you know like watching the videos that are not having any impact on your life go for some informative shows like this try to join that and then you know be part participate in a way like you are energetic and you show yourself in there then yeah whole picture whole you know level of your skills will be on another level because in this world currently as we are facing unemployment issues it's really really important and it's really really vital to know the skills that industry is looking for and we are actually trying our best to give you idea what in the industry is looking for what skills you need to have a better job so yeah that's a whole idea about that uh, particular session 
So I will wait for questions. If you have any question, then we can answer your question. Anybody have any question? My comment are on here. Want to know? Yeah, fine. We have already answered that question. So if you guys don't have any question, then chalte hain I'm saying in Urdu, if you don't have a question, then I have to go. Assalamu alaikum.